Hi guys, it's Ouija Freak here again with another talking board review. This review is on the Raimi Zulu Shaman talking board by witchboards.net. It was created by Dan Whitaker. I just want to give a quick mention to the planchette, which is awesome. I also want to talk about the incredible thickness of the boards. Anybody who has been watching my videos know how big a fan I am of a good stiff wooden board. Now, Planchette sits nicely on the board, it slides very, very effortlessly, almost glides. There is a slight resistance, which isn't bad, uh, it means it kind of clings to the board and it slides when it has to. It isn't too slidey, but just slide enough so you will get good workings with it. There it goes. Fantastic. Here is a comparison between the 1992 Parker Brothers Ouija planchette and also the Raimi's planchette. As you can see, the Parker Brothers board, as we all know, is a plastic mass-produced planchette and the Raimi board is a handcrafted wooden planchette of higher quality. Fans of the 92 Parker Brothers board will be extremely pleased to know that the Raimi board is in fact almost exactly the same size. Of course I have to point out that the Raimi board is of course a hell of a lot thicker, which means that it is not just a talking board, it is in fact a fantastic family heirloom. The Raimi board is highly recommended, it's one of the best quality produced boards to date and it's still available to buy on witchboards.net. Anyone who is a fan of talking boards should definitely add this one to their collection. I can guarantee it will probably outlive all the other boards in your collection. People who are fans of talking boards will have stumbled upon Dan Whitaker's site before. He is the owner of witchboards.net. Um, get your bums over to witchboards.net and have a look at his other designs. They're absolutely out of this world. I wish I could afford every single one of them. Don't you just love a thick bit of wood?